Hello, it's Dave Furman, alias Daz at 3.51, so we got till 3.61, which will be 4.01, which will be one minute after four. It's May 26, 2017, for Daily Sketch. I'm going to do a vulture head. Whatever happens in the next ten minutes is it. Whatever I get done will be it. I'm not doing a part two, part three. got too much going on. All right, let's start with the beak. we got a rough drawing in here. Just put a little color in the beak. We're on a different layer. And just going to work a little bit out on this layer of his beak. And we'll get into all the specifics as we go. Keep moving, 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 moving. Okay, so there's kind of the top half, and the bottom half kind of goes in here. So let's do that. Let's make sure we're not any bump or anything like that. We want to take bristles are good. That's good. That's good. Blend, maybe move up a little. Okay. shape this a little bit. Okay. Then they get hit the one that I picked. He's got a little light blue. Next. So we're going to put some light blue in here. Again, we're going to do whatever we get done in 10 minutes. That's it. That's all I'm giving myself today. we got time. <laughs> Threw down a tattoo before starting this, made my breakfast, my lunch, cleaned the shop, did the billing. You know, it's just an active day. And because I've been drawing and also painting the outside of the shop, uh, daily sketch is important, but it can't take the precedent over everything else. As long as I do digital art every day and I do some fine art, uh, I'm good. So, I don't have any guilt complexes about that. Because daily sketch becomes the digital art I'm doing. All right. Let's get some of this here. I'm just going to fine tooth a little bit of this, but I'm not going to do a lot because we don't have time to take it to the fine illustration. But we'll do some. Okay. And then we're going to put some white feathery stuff on its head. We'll come down here. Let's do some uh, white brush work. So let's go to brush two. We don't want 100% of bristles. We'll go with maybe so many. And we don't want them to be real thick. We'll go with so much. And we'll put some bristles in here and see what we get. Yeah, there we go. So we're doing the hair on this critter. Just real quick. Uh, I'm doing a rough. Give them a little military cut like they got. The buff head. And we'll throw some brighter color in there. But right now we're just doing a little rough. Okay, he's got kind of a pinkish face. Reds. So we'll rough that in kind of coarse, wrinkly and stuff. We'll deal with that in a bit. But we'll get some of this going. This is where the eye will go. Some pink here. Some brown on the neck. A little more of a tanner. Like so. And we will do that. Uh, we need even less orange. Mm. Oh, well, that'll work for now. 
He's a colorful bugger. And then he's got mech rings. And we'll deal with that in a little bit. Just to give you something. And he's got fur and all kinds of cool stuff. So there's our rough. And then this blue. Goes along here. So I want to find out what that blue is right there. We put the cursor there, we hit Alt and left mouse key, finds the color, targets the color, and then we're going to replicate that color in here just a little bit like that. Okay. All right, let's do an eye. Let's get that eye out of the way. So uh, it's kind of a black ellipse first. So we're going to kind of do like this. And then it kind of goes upward. A little bit of a bulge that way. And then some pointy corners. So we'll kind of push out corner. High up and high like that. And one's lower, and a diagonal, so like so. Then the center of the eye is kind of a golden brown. And I say kind of a golden brown. Come here, you. Let's go with that. And you can actually see black above the iris. So I'm going to kind of dial in something like this. That's a little too intense for me. <laughs> Romeo, I want to be darker looking at the photo. So let's, let's do that. And not so intense there. And come in a little lighter. There we go. That's a good shade right there. Then, you're going to have black in the center of that. Remember, 10 minutes cuts off, it cuts off. Whatever I get done, I really don't worry about today's day. Okay, got that. We want to be a little more intense now with a lighter shade into the eye. So let's just kind of... Come around like that. And then back to the black. It's kind of elliptical, but not too big. Come down small. You know, doing these in 10 minutes, it's pretty tricky. Then you want some reflection on there and some black. So first black in the border is more intense. So let's, let's come around like that. And that looks pretty cool. Then you're going to put some highlight on the eyeball. And this is just going to be white, but really contrasty. So get to the white and very intense and Let's uh, come into here and in here like that and then kind of smooth it. So we'll set this to zero opacity. We're holding the shift key and we're playing around a little bit with these reflections like so. And then I'm going to make them just a real intense spot or two and that'll be the inside of the eye. Maybe something right here, like that. And I think we can tolerate one up here like that. And then smash it again. Take us down to zero. And smash that around a little bit. Okay. The ring around the eye. Let's go to lighter pink. 
like that. And then that is kind of a textured ring. So we're going to go into 8, 